Those were the headlines we've been tracking for you this evening. Cloud-based restaurant technology solutions provider Pauzist has rebranded to RestroWorks. This new identity, the company says, reflects its transformation since its inception in 2012 from a point-of-sale provider to a unified technology platform serving global restaurant chains like Taco Bell, Subway, Belgian Waffle Company and groups like Darbar, ITC and Reliance across multiple formats. To elaborate more, joining me now is Ashish Tulsian, the co-founder and CEO of RestroWorks. Ashish, welcome back to Startup Street. First, tell us what is the reason behind this rebranding? What does the new brand name symbolize and the impact you hope it makes? Uh, tell us what is the renewed purpose? Shruti, thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. Uh, it's a great day for us. So I think uh, in every startup's journey, you wish that someday you're going to outgrow your own self. And that is exactly what happened with us. What started as a point of sale solution company and hence called Possessed in 2012, hmm. I think over, over time we became a full stack restaurant tech. So as we started working for startups, billing so uh, restaurants, billing software, we started automating their kitchens, backend inventory control, recipe control. We started integrating, you know, services like Zomato and Swiggy all yeah. across the board to bring everything that a restaurant chain requires to run their operation. And over time, we realized that uh, we are not a boss anymore. And so does our customers, you know, want to hear more from us. They want us to build more uh, that can power their chains. So this renewed purpose with RestroWorks is uh, that encomp it encompasses everything that happens within the realm of a restaurant operations. And our objective with this new brand is to look at restaurant industry as a whole and mm. not replace the piece of their operations that we can power. Okay. Okay. So, Ashish, as you progress with the new brand identity, uh, talk to us about your tech edge. What are the new offerings for your clients? How are you staying ahead of competition? Shuri, I think uh, it's a new paradigm in the restaurant tech. So, restaurant tech has been you know, fragmented in the sense that a restaurant chain ends up using multiple different softwares to power different parts of their operations life cycle. So you, you do a billing software, you have a different software for inventory control, you have something else for integrations. And for each piece, each type of uh, operation that a restaurant wants to manage, there is a different product in the market. And then these products in this new age of technology, they have to integrate with each other and they have to talk to each other to make it successful. For us, it's a, it's a shift where it's a single platform today mm. that goes into a restaurant chain and replaces almost every piece of the software they use. So the brands that you, you know, introduced us with, you know, Taco Bell, Subway, et cetera, when they work with us, we are the single platform that binds their operation from end to end. Okay. And technology edge is exactly that, where they're able to make sense out of their data. They're able to take decisions quite fast. Uh, you know, there is no lag between their action and sure. their decision. Okay. Ashish, you've achieved over 80% year on, year on your growth and you are currently powering 20,000 plus restaurants across 52 countries. So first tell us what has led to this bullish growth and then what are the future growth and revenue targets? Um, I think I cannot take full credit for this growth because I think COVID was a great driver in that. Yeah. Of restaurant has become technology first over the last couple of years, and that has fueled a large part of this growth. But we were also the right platform poised for you know to to get this growth in. Um, you know, restaurants are becoming technology first to the extent that you know over last uh, like up till five years back. When we used to go to a restaurant, technology was just a bond. They wanted to do better. Today, when a restaurant owner or a restaurant chain starts, technology is the first thing they want to get in. Mm -hmm. So our uh, plans are very, you know, are, are similar. We are experiencing some massive growth across the world right now. We have customers in 52 countries at this point in time. And I can tell you, Shruti, that probably for the first time, we have seen the world has truly leveled. Yes. Two types of restaurant chains across you know, the world are looking for the same solution okay. at the same time. Okay. Uh, Ashish, over the last five years, you've significantly invested in expanding your global presence in the US, Middle East, Latin America and Southeast Asia. So give us a sense of what are the top markets and the kind of demand you're seeing there and what is the revenue mix between domestic and global markets? Um, so 
Our top markets uh, remain India, followed by Middle East. And within Middle East, we are talking about UAE and Saudi Arabia, though we have you know, customers all across Middle East. This is followed by Southeast Asia, US, and then Latin America. Within Latin America, we work with Mexico, Colombia, Chile, uh, you know, and then a few other Spanish uh, markets. Uh, revenue mix, uh, should be that, I mean, India remains around 25 to 28% of our revenue as of today. Okay. Uh, rest of the revenue, uh, almost uh, 72% is blue. Okay. How that 45% is contributed by Middle East markets, GCC region. All right, Ashish. Unfortunately, we've run out of time. Um, but many thanks for joining us on Startup Street. And we wish you the very best with all your growth plans and, of course, the rebranding. Thank you. Thanks a lot.